What is up guys, TechRax here. In this video, I've got the new iPhone 12 to the left of me. This is that cool mint green color, or maybe it's just referred to as green, I'm not too sure. Uh, beautiful phone, brand new. And then we got the Samsung Galaxy S20 to the right, right here, also no cracks, new condition. And in this video, guys, we're gonna be putting both phones in these cylinders right here. We got two hollow cylinders, perfect for the phones. We're going to be pouring some sulfuric acid inside both of those cylinders and then topping that liquid off with some hydrogen peroxide, making some piranha solution. So uh, basically, both of these phones are going to start bubbling up. Um, they're going to start getting destroyed. And we're going to see which one of these two actually survives uh, this crazy reaction. So Without any further ado, guys, we're going to say our goodbyes to these beautiful phones and uh, see what happens. Let's go ahead and start with pouring some of that sulfuric acid. We're going to pour quite a bit of this stuff. There's some gunk coming out of there, too. And now the rest of the stuff, guys. So we're going to slowly add it to the iPhone first. I don't want to stir it too much. We're going to go ahead and add a couple of sponges here. Just like that. And this is where kind of the battle begins, guys, as the iPhone is fighting against the Galaxy S20 in this Piranha Solution. Both phones still on. You guys could see the iPhone's actually moving around on its own at this point. A lot of steam, a lot of vapors coming out. Um, but this is really interesting, and it's just really hitting at that center point of the display. Galaxy S20 seems to be holding up all right. It's just sitting around. Um, the screen is still on, but the iPhone, you guys could see a lot more vibrant here through the middle, and whew, the glass is heating up like crazy too. It might just crack on me. Let's go ahead and just add a little bit more of that hydrogen peroxide. A little more there, a little more there. And now we're just bubbling up even more. Very interesting color scheme we got going on here. Looks like it's getting a lot foamy. <coughs> it's actually very interesting that the Galaxy has a lot more bubbles, even though I just added kind of the same amount of the solution. And look at that. Looks like the iPhone is off, but the Galaxy S20 is still on. But you got a whole bunch of that weird glow. Orange and yellow and red. Really, really crazy. So we're going to give it some more time until we really start analyzing and see, seeing, you know, which phone turns on. And as you guys can see there, the Galaxy S20 looks a little bit more corrosive through the middle. While the iPhone is just showing some yellow flashes. Uh, liquid is still completely white here, brown there. So right off the bat, guys, it's going to be interesting to see the differences here in the results. So you could see the S20, a lot more corrosiveness going on here. While the iPhone, you just got a couple yellow spots. And just look at this, guys, as I try and kind of snap it back in and squeeze it. Got these juices just coming out. Phone won't snap back in anymore. So let's look at that design. You got a little patch here that's perfectly normal. But here, and this is some permanent damage to that S20. It's very interesting guys how there's this film that's just peeling off almost as if the phone had like a screen protector. We're peeling something away from the phone. There's nothing in this little area. So maybe there was a screen protector. I don't remember putting one on though. I'm gonna go ahead and just try and charge the Galaxy S20 before, I'm ev before I even look into the iPhone just since I'm dealing with this phone right now. So let's just go ahead and see if we get any sign of life. Power. Nope. Pretty sure this phone is toast, guys. I don't hear anything, no vibration whatsoever. And now let's go ahead and just take a look at that iPhone. So this is going to be really, really interesting. So again, right off the bat, guys, the screen looks pretty good so far, except for those yellow spots. When looking at the side, though, corrosiveness. You could see the color is just being eaten away. 
we got some green there but nothing in this little patch here down the middle same thing going on with the left side of the iphone you could see some silver there but we got some green here and here the back surprisingly looks not too bad at all so there's nothing actually like peeling away from it you got some light brown stains very hard to see kind of around here hold that power button and oh my goodness i you got to be kidding me you got to be kidding me there's no way there's no way i'm just seeing an apple logo right now before my eyes on this iphone which was in piranha solution for over 10 minutes the phone is on what okay that's honestly shocking me right now uh but check it out guys the phone is working besides the yellow spots right there the phone power on and off let's go ahead and see if MagSafe works so I've got this thing right here plugged in it's charging ringtone look at that audio works fine okay sure it is a little bit muffled but it's corroded I mean, come on. How is this working? The shell of the iPhone is just more durable with that surgical steel and then the ceramic shield. Whereas the Galaxy S20 is a bit behind with the overall kind of build quality. So I don't know what it is, uh, but the S20 just decided to pop open. And I gave both phones the same amount of time and just more damage overall, just more damage. Like, why is the back? looking like this but the back here you know seems a lot more cleaner but everything works guys so that is it i thought it'd be really interesting just to see both the s20 and the newest iphone the 12 um, inside this piranha solution hope you guys enjoyed that video thanks for watching as always stay tuned for more videos and i'll catch you guys in the next one peace out